Hi, this is Mark. This is for self notes. This is not a tutorial. It's just to remind myself of how I went about doing this and trying to remember in the future. This is my 90 day evaluation version of Netscaler VPX. It's a virtualization guy. It's sitting on a Citrix Zen server. Here is my load balance configuration. I have my servers all in place. We're going to use this guy here, CTX XA1, and it's sitting on 1.73. We have a service configured for it, CTXX, CTXS. I should use simpler alphabet. XA1, see, 1.73. That is the services. It's just basically port 80 HTTP protocol. The virtual server is XA1 is configured with an IP address of 183. We really don't have any load balancing set up on it. It's just a run through for the uh, one server. In order to set it up so that uh, any external addresses coming in we want it to go to this one public IP address and it's really not a public IP address I have my ISP cable modem set up to put this IP address in the DMZ 1.254 so pretty much anybody from the outside will be coming in pushed through NAT yeah it's NAT not DMZ but live with what you have it's going to go to 1254. So I have created a policy called target IP 254, which will look for any client packet destined to 1.254. And the trickiest part here was getting the uh, virtual server for content, content switching to let me insert the policy here. For some reason it depends on this toggle here. I think it's switch to classic syntax versus switch to default syntax. Uh, and I guess it, this is the mode that will allow you to see this target IP. Let me see. Insert policy. See? depending on what mode you're in there it really does make a difference as to what you could see in regards to the policies so if you're having problems toggle that and I was talking to myself there this is not a tutorial please this is not a tutorial anyway this worked and the way I did it was go to bing.com I'm, I'm needing to test from the outside world so I did a search for online web test and it gave me this puppy here which is pretty fast and convenient I just put in my external dynamic DNS waiting at the front of the queue really doesn't take long but I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause and voila there you see the uh, Citrix page coming up. That's it. Thanks.